Over the past few years, there's been quite a bit of confusion and questions asked about the current spectrum situation in the UK. I'm going to try as simply as I can to explain to you what's going on. Back in 2003, the UK government made a decision to change from analog to digital terrestrial television broadcasting. This meant that we were going to lose some spectrum in the UK. In particular, TV channels 63 to 68 were affected. And this affected radio mics in the sense that we've historically shared the same spectrum with television. Up until this point, we were always promised that channel 69 would be retained for our use. Channel 69 is unique in the sense that this single TV station, which is from 854 to 862 megahertz, had always been set aside for radio mic in the UK. With one single license that you'd pay for an annual fee for, you could use radio mics anywhere in the UK uh, on, a, on a shared basis. In 2007, at the World Radio Conference, a European-wide decision was made to clear 790 to 862 megahertz. This now became a much bigger issue for our industry because this meant that Channel 69, which had earlier been promised that we would be, uh, we would be able to retain, was now being taken away from us. This meant that radio mic users were literally left without any spectrum to use. The good news in all of this is that we've been given Channel 38 as a new home for radio mics and in-ear systems. Channel 38 is 606 to 614 megahertz and is usable now and beyond 2012 across the UK. There are certain areas in the UK where Channel 38 might not be available at the moment, and this is why Ofcom has in the meantime allowed us access into TV channels 39 and 40 using the same license that you need to get for Channel 38 use. Channel 38 might not be available in, uh, for two simple reasons. One, protection of local TV and TV channel 37 in those areas where DSO, or digital switchover, isn't yet complete. And secondly, the protection of radio astronomy, who holds the current license for this. We've also been granted access to two blocks of interleaf spectrum where the new digital terrestrial transmitters are going to exist. These two blocks are 470 to 550 megahertz and 614 to 790 megahertz. We can use this spectrum much like we used the 800 megahertz band as interleaved spectrum between the analog TV stations. This time, we're just using it interleaved in between the digital TV stations. Shure has worked very hard to have a product portfolio that fits the current and new spectrum regulations in the UK. And I'm quite happy to say that every single one of our products, from PG Wireless to PGX to SLX to ULX, UHFR, even the new PSM900 in-ear system, are fully compliant and compatible with the new UK Channel 38 regulations. So you can safely buy the products now and carry on using them beyond 2012. Another important thing to remember is that the deregulated spectrum, which is European harmonized deregulated spectrum between 863 and 865 megahertz, is untouched by digital switchover. So that means any current systems you may have at the moment from PG to PGX or SLX, or new systems of these, where you're using less than four channels at the same time, you can carry on using the deregulated spectrum between 863 and 865. Sure UK has set up a specific hotline to help answer these questions. You can give us a ring at 01 993 and a Sure employee will be on hand to help you answer questions that you may have. For further information, you can also visit our website, which is updated regularly with all the latest updates. Another good source of information is the Berg website. And lastly, you can also visit the Save Our Sound UK website for latest information on the funding package from the government.